<laughs> Hello and welcome to week 21 of Esper's refit. Liz and I have had enough, we've decided to sell Esper and we've bought ourselves a rowing boat instead. We haven't really of course, but with me in the UK taking time out with my family for my dad's 70th birthday celebrations, Liz is having to contend with one of the chief workers who has gone AWOL at a crucial time in the project. It's Monday morning and Esper is deserted apart from the paint team who are doing some last minute preparations before they start painting. We had rain earlier this morning but it is starting to clear up. One of the good things about the rain of course is that it does damp down the dust in the air. But they're taking no chances and that cling film tent is absolutely tight as a drum. Before any painting can start the guys still have quite a bit of work to do on cleaning up and getting rid of dust. So they're going to spend this morning doing that and also masking off the deck area for Goy to walk along while he paints the middle area of the deck. So we've just been talking to Goy and we've got a rough plan of what's going to happen this week. Um, Un, do you want to explain? Um, Goy say today uh, they want to spray on the superstructure on top there to be finished today and tomorrow we start to be get plastic to be covered on top of this thing there and after that they can to remove all the winding wall and start to be spray on the outside yeah. and then the next day we can remove all the plastic and start to be set up where to be put non-skip on Okay, so we've got probably a week ahead of us of painting. Yep. The platforms and structure around the boat are carefully tested to make sure that they're solid because they're going to be taking a lot of the weight over the next few days of the painters as they walk around checking and painting the surfaces. <laughs> Esper is now pretty much sealed, but there is a little opening here, and I know they haven't quite finished getting the deck ready. So if I just poke the camera through, that's the vinyl that's been put on upside down so that the uh, matte surface, which is more grippy, is for the guys to walk on as they go round and spray the middle section of the boat this afternoon, hopefully. Although, I could just move this round a bit. You'll see that they haven't quite finished laying all the vinyl down yet. So we'll find out later if the painting happens today. There's no point in rushing, we've got plenty of time, there's no deadline. Get everything ready and prepared. As with a house, nine tenths is preparation. The last bit, the spraying bit, the painting bit, is the fun bit. Of course, preparation is all very well, but we also need the weather. And in the middle of monsoon, sometimes we can get some unexpected downpours. <laughs> painting today then? Okay, so what is not apparent in these video clips so far is the fact that our chief painter, Goy, uh, failed to turn up. So although the boat was ready for uh, its painting on the deck, the main person that we have employed and paid for hadn't put in an appearance. And unfortunately, no matter how many times we called him, he just never appeared. In the end, we got our second in command, Oot, to crack on spray painting the deck. Can't 
see anything. You can hear the compressor going. Somewhere up there in the middle of that tent is Oot spraying the first layer of paint onto our deck. How did it go? Are you happy? <laughs> You're happy with it? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So we see in the morning how it will look. Thank you. So they finished the first day and uh, Ute has been on top putting the first layer on the top bit of the deck. He is now retching and clearing his throat and every other little bit of his body. Poor thing. Yeah, it's five o'clock and we're all going to go home and get a good night's sleep. Start all over again tomorrow. This is a first glimpse of what the deck's going to look like once they've finished spraying. Very shiny, very white, snow white. A beautiful smooth finish. They're taking it carefully and just doing a step-by-step -step approach. Yesterday it was all this raised area, the sides of all this raised area and part of the top at the front of the boat which now they're covering because this afternoon they're going to do the cockpit and the rear of the raised area each day a little bit more and the last thing to go down will be the non-skid area so far so good look at that finish so the area that I'm sitting on while I'm filming this you can see it's a matte colour, it's not been painted yet. That's going to be because it's going to have the grit in it to make it a grippable surface. But there's a section in the middle here which doesn't require it, and yesterday that was painted. So you can see the reflection here. It's got three coats of Snow White Allcraft on it. So it's Tuesday afternoon in the yard and although you can hear lots of work going on elsewhere, nothing's happening on Esper. Simple reason for that is that the painting team that was, that was supposed to start this afternoon is minus the uh, leader who was supposed to turn up yesterday and didn't and was supposed to turn up today and didn't. So we are now having discussions with him, that is if we can get him on the phone find out what happens next. So until he turns up, all work is halted, which means none of the workers get any work and none of the workers get any pay, which we hope will convince him that it's probably a good idea that he does turn up. So they've spent the morning clearing the deck and cleaning it and getting it ready to be sprayed, but there's no goy. So there's no spraying. Let's see how the week unfolds. I'm going to go down and turn all the electricity off now. Wednesday. Still no goy. Painters don't know what to do. All the rest of our lot have come in. But we've said that because goy is not here and not painting, we don't want any workers in at the moment. And so we're trying to get them all to see if they can help get the man here. So they're now, sadly, redoing the tent. And we'll have a day of waiting and deciding what to do next. Ton and Tui are here. They're ready to get on with their work. They're being held up by Goy. Everyone's being held up by the man. So today, we're all gonna try our best to try and get the guy here. It's a lot of hilarity, they've all got a holiday. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you on Monday. <laughs> That's uh, Tom's favourite expression. See you Monday. So it's a war of attrition now. We've said to Goy that as soon as he turns up and starts the painting, all the workers can get back to work.
I don't want any arguments. I don't want to start talking money or threaten him with the police. I just want the guy to get here and do what we've already paid him to do and what he agreed he would do. He shook Jamie's hand before Jamie left and said he would do it and the guy just can't be bothered to answer the phone or turn up. Esper is all beautifully prepared and ready for spraying. The guy spent a lot of time yesterday morning preparing it for painting. And now she's standing here for a day. Okay, Owen, it's now Thursday morning and you finally managed to speak to uh, Goy. Good morning, Jamie. <laughs> this morning I've been talking with Goy already by phone. Huh? Because this morning I come see Oud and I use Oud mobile phone to be calling Goy. Because all way, yesterday, all day, I try to be calling him more than 10 times and he not answer me. And this morning when I see Oud, get Oud mobile phone number to be call and go and answer and first thing I ask go what happened why this answer my phone all day yesterday and very important thing need to be talk with you because now you go away and keep all the painting not anything can do and all carpenter all one thing everything cannot do that's what I talk to go and the important thing we need both to be finished because every day we have to be paid for the shipyard, for the tent, for the tie dog, everything. And go and say, okay, sorry, huh? he didn't have any money to be coming there. You should find a little bit money to be coming there, to be talk with me at least. And same thing he said, Chumalo, he to be come and say, please confirm with everyone. Because this morning we have Oud, we have Kim, we have Koi. We have Mu, we have Lake, we have Toshai, and we have Deng over here. And we let everyone know Koi to be coming here. So you were on the phone, yeah, on with, the phone with the audience yeah. and you told them all and you made Goy promise to all of yeah. those people. That's yep. fantastic. And, and he said, sure, tomorrow he'll be coming there. Thursday and we're back in business. We've got the uh, blower, or I should say sucker really, uh, pulling the dust out of the deck area. The guys have spent this morning cleaning it as much as they possibly can, like they did on uh, Tuesday morning. And now we're pulling out all the last bits of dust. Uh, the whole area is sealed off with cling film. No other workers here today because they can't go in and out of the boat. Um, although we just have a few people working on the hull, doing some filling. But the rest of the day is about spray painting the rest of the deck. Here's the rudder. Moose team working on the hull. Have applied the microlite and epoxy today. It's lovely weather. They're letting it dry in the sunshine. And then they'll sand it down like they did the hull. Kim having his lunch, getting ready for an afternoon of hard spraying, enjoying the fresh air while he can and getting a nap. So while they'll be painting upstairs, downstairs, Moo and Lek are going to go around the deck and they're just going to dab on in those areas that you can quite clearly see here. Microlite mixture. First of all, Moo will go around with a pencil and he'll circle all the areas that need to be filled. This is what I understand. Followed by Lek, who will do some of the filling. Once they've filled it, they'll then fair it. So there'll be no grinding or sanding while there's any painting going on. So as you can see, through the cling film, everything is sealed off masked off. There's a little doorway here which again has been sealed off and since they're sucking out the dust I don't want to disturb it. I don't want to go in there and disturb all their hard work. But we've seen this before, it's what they did at the beginning of the week. They're just going to be doing a different area of the deck. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to come along and show you what it looks like.
in the end Mu and Lek had to abandon their work on the hull because the painting was uh, too overpowering, there was too much paint in the atmosphere and the smell was too much. I couldn't film here either, it was very strong. So um, they've had the afternoon off and I've just said goodbye to Oot who has finished three layers in the second part of the saga of the deck. Um, you can see where they paint, where the paint has uh, got onto the cling film there. I'm going to go up and have a very quick look. So they've finished um, on the second day of spraying on the deck. It's all wet and the smell is quite overpowering. I'm not going in there, but perhaps we can get an idea of that lovely shine on some of the areas there. Quite a lot of this is going to be resprayed, of course, and it's going to have the non-skid in it. But I can see some nice shiny bits. Oh, it's very exciting. This is the top side of the vinyl, which is a smooth, shiny side, which you'd normally see when you use it on the floor or on a table or something. But obviously, we've turned it upside down so that it ha it's touching the deck when they're spraying, and the underneath, slightly more grippy side, is on top, which is the, the grey that you've seen elsewhere on the boat. This has all been uh, released and opened up for boots to have a careful look at. He'll inspect the whole of the side of the boat here before he does any more spraying, just to make sure that no further sanding or um, any careful work needs to be done before he sprays. They'll clean it as well. Obviously most of this area here is going to be a non-skid surface, but there will be some gloss stripes and some gloss at the edges. Underneath the boat, Kim and Coy are preparing the lid. Which involves sanding and sanding and sanding to the smoothest and cleanest possible surface. Those odd shaped ones there cover our anchor locker at the front of the boat. Moo, in the meantime, is grabbing the opportunity to check through the whole of the hull and to start filling in some of those dimples. Since he made the rear boxes, he's also keeping a careful eye on what Gore is up to. There's still too much preparation to be done before they can get any painting finished this afternoon. So tomorrow the, the spraying will start and today, for the rest of the day, they are continuing to prepare the deck for tomorrow's final top coat of gloss spray. Ooch just had explained to me that there are one or two places that we do need some primer and a little bit more sanding. Obviously, the, the lids below are being um, prepared. But also on the deck here, he's going over the whole thing with a fine tooth comb and making any repairs and preparations as he goes. What is that? Yes, could it be? Yes, it could. It's our delivery from Navico. Uh, only been waiting for this since February. It's now the 26th of June. But it's here, we've got it. When I open the boxes, I'll let you all know. Radar, navigation equipment, you name it, it's in here. It's the beginning of the day on Saturday and the paint team are preparing everything for the final coat of gloss that's going onto the deck. Um, after today, we will just have the non-grip surface to apply. The 
whole team continue to smooth and sand. The deck's almost ready to be sprayed with its final layer of gloss. And that will be all of the gloss finish today at the end of week 21. So you can see the areas that are going to be um, anti-skid and you can see the stripes in between where it will just be gloss. In fact the stripes won't be as wide as that. They're just making them nice and wide so that when they come to put the proper patches in for the anti-skid they've got to enough room to play with. Meanwhile, over the boat, it's business as usual. Goy may not be here, but his team are just getting on with work. They're doing the last pieces of preparation before Oot does the final gloss spray this afternoon. That's it for week 21. It's been a strange week, but we got there in the end. Not sure if Goy is going to be with us next week, but he has said he's going to be in on Monday at 8 o'clock. He said that every day this week. Let's see if it turns out. I'm on my way home now. Next week it's Ramadan. I think I might be bringing sandwiches in every day. <laughs>